math of quadratic functions can be used to solve problems in geometry like this one. We have a triangle whose base is 10.5 centimeters longer than the height. We're given the area and we're being asked for the length of the base. The first thing that we're going to do is define our variables in terms of x. I decided to let x equal the height. Since the base is 10.5 centimeters longer than the height, I'm defining x plus 10.5 as the length of the base. My triangle would look like this. The next thing I need is the area of a triangle formula, which looks like this. And then I fill it in with the variables I've defined for the height and the base. Simplifying, I multiply across the bracket, then I move the 2 to the other side of the equal sign, and I'm able to simplify my equation into a quadratic equation. I can solve this with the quadratic formula and sometimes by factoring. This time I'm going to use the quadratic formula. I find my a, b, and c, and then I calculate delta and I get a delta of 1190.25. Substituting all of my values into the quadratic formula, I get two answers, positive 12 and negative 22.5. I throw away the negative answer, and the positive answer has to be what I defined x as at the beginning. The height, therefore, is 12. But the question is asking for the length of the base. Since the base is 10.5 centimeters longer than the height, I just have to add 10.5 to 12, and I get my answer. The height is 12 centimeters, the base is 22.5 centimeters long. Notice that the answer for the base, 22.5, has the same value but the opposite sign of the negative answer I threw away. This will always happen. This is how we use the quadratic formula to solve a geometry problem.